Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Richard today, and today we are going to quickly be taking the bottom off this laptop. This is one of the Asus series. It's the FX73V, and then the sub model is actually right here, FX73VEWH71. So this is the one with the 1050 Ti. The only disadvantage this laptop really had is, one, I would suggest upgrading the RAM, and then two, not this hard drive but this hard drive it had just a regular old one terabyte hard drive I would suggest going and grabbing yourself a cloning cable and then doing uh, a quick partition wizard again I have a video on that um, I will if you want to just look it up just look up uh, hard drive cloning ghostly rich and it'll pop up because I got rid of annotations yay so as you can see, the first thing you need to do is, unlike other laptops, you have a solid base. So take off all the perimeter screws. After you take off all the perimeter screws, there's one more hidden one right here, which you need a little flat blade for. And you'll just go like this. And then if you do that, you'll see a silver screw, this one, right there. After you do that, take your nail or something, and you're just going to... Uh, it takes a little bit, but you're just going to separate it. And this unclips. Put this off to the side. Ground yourself against the drive if you'd like. Just basically touch it. You should touch another piece of metal first, but either way. You're just basically grounding yourself before you touch any of the board. If you're going to upgrade your RAM, you'll grab right here on the sides and you'll pull it apart. You'll see it pops up like this. See how it does that? Now monitor this when you go to insert your new RAM. Make sure all the gold pin goes in. Make sure it's not sitting like this. Sometimes it's a tighter fit, that's why I bring it up. So wiggle it a little bit, drop it, and you'll see they both lock in. And then put your two RAMs in. Don't, if you can, avoid keeping the original RAM. Just buy either one stick of 16 or get two sticks of eight, whatever you wanna do. You could put 32 gigs in here, but it seems very useless in this laptop. Next thing you're gonna do, if you wanna switch out the hard drive, screw here, screw here, Wiggle it out. It wiggles out of this connector. Don't lift it. Wiggle it out backwards. You'll see it hits this bump stop right here when you wiggle it out. And when you do that, then it's off the board. You take the new one, bolt these two arms on right on the side, just like the old one. It's just right here. You'll see these screw holes. So just transfer the plates over from this, this uh, regular hard drive to an SSID. If you don't want to do that, you can do an M.2, but you do have to buy your own screw. So if you're going to go buy an M.2, make sure you get the screw as well. Slip it in, tighten that screw in. After you do that, put Humpty Dumpty back together and enjoy way faster speeds. I'm not even lying. If you want to speed up this laptop, 100%, if not 300%. Um, just grab those two items, a hard drive that is an SSD or M.2 and first clone this drive, pull this drive out, put the new cloned drive in and then call it a day. If you're not going to do that and you're just going to put an M.2 in, put the M.2 in, clone the drive onto the M.2 and then erase this drive and leave the M.2. Other than that, all you're going to do is grab your plate after you've secured everything, make sure that's clicked in and then make sure it goes back on like so and you're just going to click it all the way around and then after you do that just put in all your screws again make sure the silver one goes in the center that's it thanks again for watching press like if it helped you out subscribe for more so you can compare this to yours power red lights on Asus is instantly on. Circles. Loading screen. I want you to compare that to your stock one because I'm telling you now, this thing, you're still waiting a whole bunch. By the time you put in your password, put it this way, you'll put in your password here now and you'll press enter, you'll hit Google Chrome, whatever you want, you can instantly search. There's no more waiting.